Hallo, ich begrüße euch sehr herzlich zu Money Money und wie ihr seht, habe ich für dieses Video einmal die Location gewechselt. Die ganze Umgebung hier sieht sehr nach Urlaub aus und so ist es auch. Ich befinde mich hier in Florida äh, bei meinem Freund Steve. And I say, first of all, Steve, I'm very happy to be here with you and uh, at its home. And uh, Steve is a realtor and uh, we will talk about the real estate in uh, America. But uh, first of all, Steve, could you tell me something about you? Certainly. <laughs> uh, I'm in the real estate market with my wife, Rosemary. We work for our company, uh, Royal Shell Real Estate, here in Cape Coral. And we uh, sell real estate in the area from Cape Coral down to Fort Myers, uh, Estero, Bonita, and Naples. Okay. Steve, let us talk about uh, real estate here in, in America, especially in Florida. The demand in real estate in Germany is very high. It depends on the shortage of housing and the missing alternatives in making financial investments. How is the situation in America? Well, America is a very large country and, yeah. and uh, you know, the, the real estate market is quite variable depending on where in America we're speaking of. Um, I, uh, obviously, I'm most familiar with the market in, in Florida, in Southwest Florida, right here. And it's, it's very good. It's uh, going along at a very even keel. It's not racing up or plummeting down. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a good market here. And uh, as in most markets, it's a matter of supply and demand. Uh, if the, there's a lot of property on the market, the prices aren't rising much. If there's lower prices or lower quantity of homes, the prices go higher. Mm -hmm. And right now we're just slightly increasing in property right okay. here. Um, do you think uh, there is a possibility in another price bubble in real estate? Well, anything's possible and I, I think that we're Fortunately, well beyond that, I think America has learned its lesson uh, from the early 2000s mm. with the last price bubble that yeah. we experienced. And at that time, uh, the, the bubble was basically created by government um, controls in that one party in the government uh, felt that everyone should be able to own a house. Mm. And they changed the rules so that they required lenders, mm -hmm. mortgage companies, to give mortgages well, to people who really normally wouldn't qualify. Yeah. Yeah. But they passed the rule. The lenders had to give people yeah. mortgages with most of the time zero money down mm -hmm. and yeah. no credit history. Yeah. And many people bought houses and they did, the payments were low initially, and that was the other thing. Low initial payments, but eventually, when they had to make more payments uh, uh, with the interest going up and the um, uh, requirements for insurance and taxes, yeah. that all came to uh, a halt and people could not pay their yeah. mortgages. Yeah. So, uh, It was, it was a bad time uh, overall. Initially, it was a great time because people would come in and buy a house and in one month, it would increase in value 10 or 20% in one month. Wow. And they might sell that house wow. and buy another house. Yeah. They might buy two or three houses wow. because there were no requirements for money down. Wow. They had no money out of their <laughs> pocket yeah. and it was crazy. So property values increased terrifically. Uh -huh. And then as the market was saturated because that can't go on forever, uh -huh. the prices started going down, people started losing money, uh -huh. people who had no money invested just walked away. Mm -hmm. 
and they were um, able to do that with virtually no consequences. So they filed bankruptcy. The mortgage companies had a ton of houses that they had repossessed. Okay. So hopefully that never happens again. <sighs> well, we will hope. Um, Steve, which uh, circumstances do play a role in pricing real estate here in America? Well, there's basically four things that uh, play a role. Demographics, interest rates, the economy, of course, and as we just talked about, government policies and subsidies. Uh, demographics are, uh, I think most people understand, the people who are buying the houses. And right now, the major demographic that everyone looks at is the baby boomers. Oh, Are you familiar yeah, with the yeah, term yeah, baby yeah, boomer? Yeah, okay. People who were born after World yeah. War II in 1946 and on into the 60s. And right now, and I happen to be one of those people, uh, baby boomers are retiring uh, and they want to go someplace, most of them warm, sunny, uh -huh. with water. Yeah, well, and here we are. Yeah, and here we are. And that, that is part of what, well, that's why I moved here. But uh, initially, I only came to Florida to look for an investment before the boom because I'd gotten uh, hurt very badly in 2000 in the stock market, lost a ton of money, and I was going, where can I invest my money and not worry about it being zero? Okay. And I said, hmm, real estate. I read, I studied, determined real estate. So I came to Florida looking for rental property uh, in real estate. And um, it's a long story about how I ended up moving here full time, but that's, that's how I got here. And, and that's, that's the demographics. Baby boomers are looking at uh, where they can retire where it's warm and sunny and, and water in a lot of yeah. cases. So they're a big part of our market here, uh, as well as Europeans uh, have found Florida, Southwest Florida, uh, significantly uh, as, as a place they like to come and vacation. Uh, they, yeah. like you, yeah. bought property here and they come visit frequently as they can. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's part of the demographic that controls the prices. And then interest rates. You as a banker know yeah. very well that interest rates really make a difference in where people invest or what, that they invest and save money versus uh, not doing that because they, they can't afford it. Yeah. So when interest rates are low, that makes property values uh, better because there are more people who can afford to have a mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, the economy, of course, <laughs> in, in America, if the economy is good, as I'm sure it is in Germany, yep. um, more people want to go out and are able to buy, yeah. um, buy property. Yeah. And again, the, as we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. the local economy mm -hmm. is, is a huge part of it, but overall the uh, economy for the country makes mm -hmm. a difference as well. And lastly, government subsidies and government policies, yeah. um, they're yeah. a factor as well. So um, that's where we're at as far as uh, the role okay. various things uh, have in pricing uh, property in America. I think it's the same in, in, in Florida as in Germany. We say location, location, location. It's, it's uh, the first of it's, all. Um, are there any similar homes with totally different prices? Can you, f can you <coughs> find maybe an example online or real that we can show our audience. I can. I, okay. I will uh, have some uh, information that I, I can give you and we can uh, show, for example, we just looked recently uh, at prices of a home in Cape Coral south all the way to Naples mm -hmm. that was built in 2000 or later. Two thousand, uh, sorry, twenty-five hundred to three thousand square feet, yeah. and we said, okay, what, what would that home look like, for the very least amount of money to invest, versus unlimited, and we came up with, and I'll give you the information, yeah. uh, a home here in North East Cape Coral, mm -hmm. 
for $160,000, that same, uh, not the same house, but the same uh, criteria for a house in Naples was $4,200,000. <laughs> Crazy. Built later than 2000, 2,500 to 3,000 square feet. Wow. Then in Cape Coral, we looked as well, and uh, only this time we said, okay, 2,500 to 3,000 square feet, built mm. 2,000 or, or newer, and on the water that you can take your boat to the Gulf. Uh -huh. Okay. And in that situation, there was a house here for 399,000, uh -huh. and there was the top of the market was 1.5. Four, I believe, one point three million dollars. Wow. One million so, more. Yes. Wow. So, so that shows you that location, 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 location. Yeah. is is the key. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. The the prices in real estate are climbing. Do you think this is measurable uh, to the whole American economy? Uh, not the whole American economy. I don't think. I mean, not, huh? in my experience. Um, there's never a firm example for this whole country, uh -huh. but certainly I think uh, today that the economy overall makes it better and prices will continue. Mm -hmm. You know, barring any unforeseen circumstances, um, that prices will continue. And and again, the reason I came down here, having gotten hurt very badly in the yeah. uh, stock market, was that houses property is never worth zero uh -huh. as many of my investments were in 2000. Okay. Wow Steve thank you for this interview and now we have a drink I think. Yes? Ah okay. very good very yeah. good. Thank you Steve for the interview. My pleasure. Yeah man. and uh, pleasure. now we have a drink I think. Yes, yes, okay. yes very good. Thank you Steve. Thank you. Und, äh, oder und, äh, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und wenn euch dieser Beitrag gefallen hat, dann schickt mir doch bitte einen Daumen hoch und lasst mir bitte auch ein Abo da. Und äh, ich kündige jetzt schon an, es kommt noch ein weiterer Beitrag mit Steve äh, und zwar werden wir dann über die amerikanische Wirtschaft und auch über den Präsidenten Trump reden. Bis dahin, tschüss.